say hi. Hi. So today we are going to make a what we eat in a day video. Bethel already ate. She had a Lara bar because she earned one yesterday. So anyway, she started, but I'm going to start by making a celery juice and then we're going to make a smoothie bowl and Bethel is going to eat. You want oatmeal, right? Is that what you want? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she wants oatmeal. And so that's what we're gonna make and we'll just show you kind of our breakfast and then we'll kind of just go throughout the day and see what else we eat. So thanks for stopping by. So I have my celery hearts right here and I'm using um, just the whole thing. So I'm gonna be making um, the juice in my blender and then I'll show you how I make it using, um, ooh, that's not safe. I'll show you how I use um, my blender to make the juice. Um, we're borrowing a juicer right now. Hold on, Nugget. We're borrowing a juicer right now, but I think the, it just doesn't, um, what am I trying to say? It just doesn't take off all the juice, so you're left over with really wet pulp. And I've seen other juicers that do a really great job of extracting all the juice, but they're just really expensive. I really like that you can do this with a blender as well. So I'm going to go and rinse this off real quick and then we will keep going. Oh, there's a yeah. bug. See that? The bug right there. Do you want to see the bug? Yeah. Right there? Can see that? Yeah. Alright, let's rinse off. That's a bell. So the celery is rinsed. Um, so I'm just going to chop it. And I can do this in chunks, but I prefer to just do it in one big chunk. So I'll have my blender right here. Okay, so we have the blended celery and we have the, uh, this is the bag that I'm using, it's a nut milk bag, but you can use a cheesecloth as well, um, but this is just what I got because I was planning on making nut milks regularly, which I probably still will, but anyway, it's been really useful for this as well. So you pour it in here, pour all of your celery blended celery in here. I'm gonna grab a spatula real quick. Hey, cheese, Mama. You have your bag right here. I don't know if you can see that. All the juice out, so all that pulp is going to be in there. Um, and this should make about 16 ounces. Last week I started with 8 ounces. Well, really, the first day I started with 16 ounces and it was too much. And then it was recommended that I do maybe eight ounces and see if I can start with cucumber. So I did celery and cucumber juice for a few days um, and then worked my way to just celery juice and did eight ounces of that. And now um, this is the second day where I'm doing about 16 ounces. And that's the first thing um, I have. So I haven't had breakfast yet. Um, so I typically have this and then wait about 15-20 minutes, which is about the time that it takes me 
to make mine and Bethel's breakfast anyway. And so, we're just a perfect amount of time. And then, and then I have breakfast after drinking my celery juice. Um, and I haven't noticed any differences um, in what I'm looking for. And so, um, it's only day two, and so I don't expect it to happen overnight or anything. So I'm gonna keep at this for about a month and just see if it helps um, with my gut issues and digestion issues. Um, I got antibiotics when I had Bethel, and um, I've been trying to just intake in more probiotics and just really help the issues that came out of that. And so. I've read about celery juice and I really don't like celery. I don't particularly, it's one of the few vegetables that I'm not a fan of, but I do believe that food can help heal. And so I wanted to go, I wanted to try something more natural. Um, and if it's me drinking 16 ounces of celery juice every morning, then, you know, there are worse things that I could drink to help with this so anyway this is the celery juice so that's a good amount and I'll probably share some with Bethel and um, after I drink this I will make her breakfast and I'll show you how I do that and then I'll make my smoothie bowl Not sure. That makes about about two cups. So we're putting half a cup of oats. I have some oats. Uh -huh. You can put the container in there. And then you put my Sure. And then typically I do one cup of water first so I just measure it out again and it doesn't have to be filtered water I just that's what I have out and so then I I'm going to cook this down for about five minutes on medium and I just watch it um, Kind of just the basic oats recipe. I, for the most part, follow what the container says, um, but I like to start out with water and cook it down first until it's nice and soft, and then I add in either almond milk or coconut milk. So I'm going to cook this down, and then I will show you the part where I add milk and then how we top it. It's actually pretty good. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be got a really mild taste, but... Okay, it looks like the oatmeal needs some stirring. Okay, so this is starting to get thick and the oats are cooking down. Um, you want to stir it just so it doesn't get sticky. Oops. But I'm going to add the milk in just a little bit. I'm going to add about one cup of milk. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I have about half a cup in here. And I'm going to add another half cup. This is what I'm using. You don't have to use this. You can use um, pretty much any nut milk. I just like this because it's creamy. And I typically use their vanilla, um, the unsweetened vanilla in the oatmeal. But this is what I have, so that's what I'm using. Okay. Can you close it? Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. You hold it? Uh huh. You hold it to this one? My wrap? No, I'm going to close it because I don't want you to spill it. Here we go. Have you ever closed? Mm hmm. Is it closed? So, this is what this looks like. And really, you probably don't even need a whole cup of milk. 
Um, most of the time I play it by ear, but this is going to cook down to a thicker consistency like we like. Um, it's going to be kind of like custard. Um, and so I'm just going to let this cook for probably another five minutes. And then I will show you the final product. To this, I'm probably going to add some flaxseed. Here, let me show you. See that? So creamy. It's almost like dessert. You can do what? You want to put some flaxseed in your bowl? So we're going to put some peanut butter in it. We'll put some turmeric, nutmeg, cinnamon, and just a little bit of pepper. And you can't really taste it, so don't be weirded out by it. And then we're going to add flaxseed as well. Ready? Okay. Can I measure it? Yes. Does your oatmeal look good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Eat some. What did you put in your oatmeal? What else? Gonna Can you look up? What else did you put? I put turmeric. Turmeric. And then you added a few more things. What else did you add? I add some turmeric. You did some turmeric. I add some pepper. Uh huh. Some uh huh. Some canela. Uh huh. Some peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Some nutmeg. Uh huh. Is that it? Yeah. How's your oatmeal? Good. Yeah. Thank you, Mama. So we're gonna make the smoothie bowl, and I started with two frozen bananas, so they're already in there, and I'm going to do about a handful of greens. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to add some frozen berries this is um, it's got cherry and no not right now it's got cherry and blueberries blackberries and red raspberries Go ahead and finish your strawberries first. So then I'm going to add about oops, a handful, about a handful of cashews. And I'll just add to the creaminess of the bowl. And then I'm going to add some milk. I don't really want it to be as thick as nice cream. Um, it's really just a slightly thicker smoothie that you can eat with a spoon is what I'm going for.
So here is the mixture and we're going to make the smoothie bowl.